So today then we're looking at sharing a quantity into a given ratio. Now, these come out in two different ways, okay? And we're gonna go through both of these ways on the board here. So I've gone straight for worded questions, okay? Because if you can understand these, you can understand the very simple ones. So Tim and Chris are given 280 pounds and they share it in the ratio of two to five. How much did they each get? Right, I need a highlighter. So I've got Tim and Chris. They are given 280 pound. They share it in the ratio of two to five. And how much did they each get? Right, so that's our important word, a key word to you. Now there's a couple of different rules with ratio. Now our ratio is two to five. Okay, and our first rule is we have to look at the order of the names. So Tim is first and Chris is second. So therefore, Tim gets two parts, Chris gets five parts. So that's our first rule. Be careful with the order of the names. Now, to give you a visual, Tim's going to get two parts. Chris is going to get five parts. And we are sharing 280 pounds between these two people. So we need to work out the value of each of these parts. Now, if all of them are 280, we have got seven parts. Okay, so the first thing we've done, we've added the parts. Two add five is seven. So I've got 280 pounds to share between the seven parts. Well, Seven fours of 28 add the zero. So each of these parts are worth 40. So then if Chris has, sorry, Tim has two parts, then Tim has 80 pounds. So then if the original ratio was two to five, if we times them by 40, then Tim gets 80 pounds and five times 40 is 200. Now, I know that's correct by a simple checker method. If I add these two together, they should equal the number in the question. 80 add 200 is 208. So I know I am correct. So the first thing we did, we added the ratio. Let me drag this over here. First thing we did, is add the ratio. Then I use the quantity, which is the 280, divided by the total ratio. And then whatever that number is, multiply that number by your original ratio. So you multiply ratio by the answer for step two. So we add the ratio, quantity divided by total ratio, and then multiply this number by your original ratio to find out how much each person received. And it's the same every time. You may have a question like that, or the other variation is something like this. So Bella and Tilly share treats into the ratio four to three. Tilly received 15 treats. How many did Bella receive? So let's remember our rules from before. We've got four to three is our ratio. Let me get, some, get a highlighter. So we've got Bella and Tilly share treats in the ratio four to three. But Tilly received 15. How many did Bella receive? And the more of these you do, the more, the more easier that the highlighting gets, okay? You look for keywords, the more numeracy questions you do. So remember our first rule? Bella comes first in the question, therefore Bella is the first number of the ratio. Now this one's different. Last time we had to add the ratio and then divide the quantity by the total ratio. However, 
let's actually ask ourselves, what is this question asking? We can see a ratio. For this time, Tilly received 15. So we know that Tilly gets 15. This is our question mark. Now, we need to find the relationship between this ratio and this ratio with this arrow here. Now, what have we done to 3 to get to 15? We've added 12, but we're not going to use add or subtract. We're going to look at times or divide. We have times it by 5. Now, because you've times that by 5, you must times this by 5. It is similar to fractions. 4 times 5 is 20. So in the ratio of 4 to 3, if Tilly got 15 treats, then Bella must have got 20. Okay, if we're looking at fractions, then Bella has received 4 out of 7 parts. So Bella has received 4 sevenths. Tilly has received 3 sevenths. You can see we have got 35 altogether. So Bella has had 4 sevenths of 35. Tilly has received 3 sevenths of 35. Divide by bottom to get 5 times by the top to make 15. Exactly the same here. Divide by bottom to get 5 times by 4 to make 15. 20, okay, so if the question is asking for a fraction, remember your denominator is the total parts within the ratio. Okay, so just to recap, if they're asking you to share a quantity by a given ratio, remember, add the ratio, then the quantity divided by total ratio, and then whatever that number is, multiply by your original ratio. That's the first style of question. Second style of question looks like this. Write down the information they've given you, and then you'll be able to work out the relationship by multiply or divide to find out the missing value. If it asks for fractions, remember your denominator, is the total amount of parts in the ratio. Hope that helps. Good luck. Have a go.